The indigenously developed SANT standoff anti-tank missile was flight tested by the Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO and the Indian Air Force from the Pokhran Ranges. The missile is fitted with a cutting edge MMW seeker that allows for high precision strike capability and can neutralize targets from a safe distance. The indigenously built and produced helicopter launched missile has a range of up to 10 kilometers. If we look at the footage, the missile isn't hitting the bullseye, instead, it's hitting below the target, raising the question of whether the test was successful. The missile was never supposed to target the center. If you look closely below, you'll notice a reflector, near which the missile hits the target, so the mission was considered a success. The flying test, according to the Ministry of Defense, met all of its mission goals. The release mechanism, powerful guidance and tracking algorithms, all avionics, with integrated software and tracking systems observed all mission events. MMW seekers differs from laser or imaging seekers, as well as infrared seekers. The millimeter wave is capable of detecting targets in all weather situations based on real-time kinematic RTK for moving targets. RTK is a technique used to improve the accuracy of a standalone GNSS receiver. Traditional GNSS receivers, like the one in a smartphone, could only determine the position with 2 to 4 meters accuracy. RTK can give you centimeter accuracy. RTK uses at least two GPS receivers, a base receiver, and one or more rover receivers to achieve high precision differential positioning. The base receiver collects data from nearby satellites and sends it, along with its location, to the rover receiver. In addition, the rover receiver captures measurements of the satellites in view and combines these with data from the base station. The rover then calculates its distance from the base. The utilization of GPS carrier phase signals is crucial for achieving centimeter level positioning accuracy with RTK. The SANT missile would further bolster the indigenous defense capabilities. The SANT missile has been designed and developed by Research Center Emirat, RCI, Hyderabad, in coordination with other DRDO labs and participation from industries. This is the third in the series of indigenous standoff weapons to be tested in recent times, after long-range bombs and smart anti-airfield weapons to strengthen the Indian Air Force's arsenal.